Hi my love, it's Kyle. I thought I'd make you a couple short videos to help you with any of the photo stuff um, in case you need help. But you're really amazing at it, so you probably won't. So first, to import pictures. Once you have the camera plugged into the computer, just press the little shutter button once if you don't hear any noise to say it's connected. That just kind of turns the camera on so the computer recognizes it. And then we go and we click right up here, get photos from camera. And that will open up a short little dialog box like this. We do select a device. You choose your camera, Canon EOS 5D Mark II. Spoiled. And here's all of our pictures on the card. Um, these are all your guest king pictures from this morning. We're already on the month of April up here, so just make sure photos 2013-4 for, for the month. If it's a new month, just hit browse, and you can actually go to that same area. So... See, we just go to libraries, pictures, photos, then we find the year, 2013. We have our months. If you've got to make a new month, old 2013, click make new folder. Hit, oops, that was wrong. I made it under that one. Make new folder once 2013 selected. And we do five. Um, so actually it was right earlier. There's six. But we want in April. And then we type in the name of your folder. Lindsay holds a gas can. And then hit get media. One file, two file, three file. I'm like the count from Sesame Street for copying files. Six files, seven files, <laughs> nine files. <laughs> okay, so there they all are in. And Bridge will usually open up a new window with all your pictures. Um, now we have two bridge windows open, so I'm going to close the other one. So here they all are. It takes it a second to get all the thumbnails so they look sharp. Uh, which pose is the cutest? Oh man, I'm always going to pick one and you're going to pick the other. I kind of like this one. It's very flirty. So we double click it to open it. That is going to open up in camera raw. I always do auto on the white balance. Let's see, that made it a little bit colder. I want it a little bit warmer, so this temperature, I drag it to the right a little bit. Let's see what auto does. All right, brings it back somewhat, but let's get the shadows up. Exposure up a little bit. Where's that vibrance you love? There it is. And then we hit open. That will open it up in Photoshop for us. Okay, now it's opening it up for us. Go. Oh my goodness, look at this hot girl. Okay, let's start with skin softening, okay? So the layers is always where we want to go first to make sure we're on the background layer. Now, I've enabled it so you can just hit the F11 key on the keyboard and it will run your skin softening. See if we go to actions here, look at skin soft, it says F11. That means it's a shortcut. You can just hit F11 and it'll skin soften. So. The other way to do it, of course, is highlight skin soft and hit the play button. So we go over here, we hit F11. It's going to do all of our magic for us. And it should put us on the brush tool and on the color white. You'll notice that our new layer is selected and that little black triangle or black rectangle is selected. Not this one, but this one. And that is important. It won't, won't work for you if it's, if it's not right. Um, let's make our circle bigger by clicking up here. All right. And just notice all these things up here should be the same. Mode should be normal, opacity 100%. If any of that looks different, that could also be a problem. And then we should start applying our skin softening. All right. So beautiful. You don't even need this. Oh, my goodness. I love your wild hair. And make sure to always do it on all of the skin because you don't want it to look inconsistent. All right. Try to avoid the hair if we can. All right. Let's see. We go down, down, down. Get down here on your forearm. There's my baby's hands. They're probably freezing right now because your hands are always freezing. What's going on here? Ah, nice. Okay, then we go back up here. We get this arm. There we go. Let's see if there's a difference. Yay! 
A prettier grill just got a little bit prettier. There we go, a little bit softer. Okay, so that is how you do that. Click back on the background. We're going to go ahead and save as. We go to Libraries, Dropbox, Kids, uh, Lindsay, 2013. And we save it as a JPEG, and I'm going to call it with the date, 04-21-13. Lindsay holds a gas can. Hit the go. Hit the go. I like it. You see a little bit of our garage, but that's okay. It's a garage. We can have it messy. Okay, babe. I hope you enjoyed your first tutorial. Love you. Bye.